all this stuff that I'm never going to use. It's going to go stale, bad, mm-hmm. spoiled, right? freezer burn. You overpurchase. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was one thing that you also said one time was to time yourself. Yes. Which is a fun way, like, do, 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 do. <laughs> right. <laughs> like going to the grocery store and that m- helps you to not purchase too much. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I time myself. Have a mission. Have there. a time frame and in and out. Exactly. Especially... Uh, stores like Target. Yes. Because you can oh, easily Lord. be entertained in Target. Pure, yeah. And yeah. You can go in there and you weren't even searching for this. And you could come out with a bathing suit, a beach hat. <laughs> right? Patio and furniture. Patio you don't furniture. have a pa- patio. I know, right? <laughs> you start buying all this stuff or, you know, the little knickknack things that are at eye level. Yeah. That you see. Or the things that they strategically place. That are strategically placed mm-hmm. because you're in there and you're not on a, you have no time frame. Yeah. You're just shopping. So you're really entertaining yourself visually mm-hmm. and you wind up putting way more things in your basket than you should have. Mm-hmm. That's why I think that the timing thing is actually a really brilliant idea mm-hmm. for stores like that. Because when you go to Target, if you're not hungry, then you're cool to just chill. That's right. Yeah. So it, it'll like almost back up that fact because when you're at target like if i'm not hungry and first of all they have food that's right so there. even yeah. if you are hungry so just time yourself mm-hmm. right in and out well and and we've talked about this before when i was in business school i did a uh research paper on ikea mm-hmm. and um and target does the same thing and there's actually a bunch of stores that do this but ikea in particular um since that's what i did the research paper on <laughs> they have a way of placing their items and they even place their they they on purpose, make food in their cafe mm-hmm. that has a very strong smell um, or aroma, I should say, because it always smells so good, um, like cinnamon rolls or something like that. Right. And they specifically, they do research on this and they know what they're doing. They do research on this to find out what smells make want to make people want to shop more. And um, and so they you if you go to an Ikea, a lot of Ikeas will be baking cinnamon rolls and you'll smell that as you're walking in. Right. And it makes you it stimulate something in your brain to um, to make you want to buy more well what people uh, most people know but don't think about a lot is that marketing companies of all kinds get paid a lot of money so that you shop yeah that's how they make their living Mm -hmm. right is to make you shop Mm -hmm. and so and placement companies and companies that think about strategically placing things in our grocery stores, our furniture stores, stores like um, Ikea, stores like Target, so that you buy more. Yeah. Right. And mm-hmm. so if you go to the grocery store and you're not and, and you're not hungry when you get there, you'll buy the things that you came in for and use a list. Get a list. Right. Mm-hmm. And buy only the things on the list yeah and then that'll make you remember the things you went there for because i have gone to the grocery store to get oh, five items and went in there and got three of the items and then a bunch of things that i didn't need right and then you have to go back again yeah well what was that thing that uh you had said recently was put some or challenge yourself to put something back put something back yes yeah when we Always had the shopping cart yeah put something back just mm-hmm. once you start rolling up to that that counter, you know that you've put things in there that you didn't come in for. <laughs> just, just put one of those items back. You just had to one. have the one inch curler because you only have the half inch curler. Yeah, or something stupid like that that you exactly could totally live without. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I've done that. Were you watching me? Yes, I was. Okay, <laughs> I've got the inside scoop. <laughs> Speaking so, of scoop and kitty litter, weren't we talking about? <sighs> yes, that was Nathan's idea. <laughs> yeah. The I, cat lady over here, I, yeah, right? Yeah, I got Charlene to post on her social media, <laughs> <laughs> uh, even though she doesn't have a cat and doesn't want a cat. Right. Um, I'm that, allergic to cats. Yeah, <laughs> um, that you um, you act, but <laughs> I have a cat, so that's what right. matters here. Okay, um, <laughs> is that you can actually save up to two hundred dollars a year if you potty train your cat, <laughs> and I- it's a process, and it's a process that I have not yet gone down that road yet but i have definitely thought about it like it's two hundred dollars a year and the time saved of um of not having to scoop out the kitty litter Mm -hmm. box i'm really sensitive to smells so i i probably spend way too much time making sure that the kitty litter box is is clean clean. yeah because i'll smell it from across the house it's just such a funny visual like oh my gosh i gotta go to the restroom and then you open the door and And the cat i'm sorry (laughs) you're using it that was the visual i got yeah because if so. you only have one restroom, it's like, I don't know, Nathan. 
I don't know. I, I talked I, to somebody I'm gonna about it. it. Somebody, I think I'm going to do it. Somebody at my work did it to their cat, and they said it was amazing, and you don't ever have to worry about the smell or scooping it. It's a time saver. We I don't have time to watch that. cable anymore, and we don't have time to take care of our cat's kitty litter box. That's hmm. right. Think of all the time we would save. The time we'll save. You should get and a cat and then we'll train save. it and see how you feel. No, thank you. <laughs> then I spend that money and more <laughs> at a doctor's <laughs> office. Get a, get a sphinx. They don't have hair. No, thank you. And you, you could pet skin. They're not cute. And then you could sell at Arbon. I don't like them. You They're could sell cute. at Arbon. Everybody has is skin. Is what she just said. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> anyway. We'll, we'll get that okay. later. <laughs> and one app, one thing I was thinking about is apps are really good at helping you save. And one thing you told me about was Gas Buddy. Yeah. It's a really good app. Have I ever told you about no, that? Okay, about so Gas, Gas Buddy, Buddy I, is this app that I've used ever since I've had a smartphone. It's, and it's amazing. Yeah, it's really great. And so it basically just, all it does is um, it uh, it's, it's user run, okay. basically. So um, users that um, that use it. Gosh, I'm saying that word a lot. Um, uh, is <laughs> I like don't know what else, what other word to use. But um, uh, but I I do it too. Is you um you go in, you go to a gas station. If the price that it says on the app isn't correct, then you change it. Mm-hmm. But um, you look and you can see what where the cheapest gas is in your area. Oh wow! So rather than just going to whatever gas station you happen across, mm-hmm. you can you can just look at it really quick and say, oh, there's I mean this one's forty cents a gallon cheaper than the one that's not that much closer to me. I'm just going to go to this one. You know, that's happened to me before. Mm. I was um, in L.A. and I went to the gas station and the gas at that gas station was like 70 cents Mm -hmm. more than a gas station somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And I was shocked, but it was because it was right next to a freeway entrance. So usually gas stations that are right by the freeway entrance ramps Mm -hmm. and off ramps and on ramps are usually the most expensive. Yeah, always. Because those are the ones people are looking for because they're going to run out of gas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, and so they, they capitalize on that. Mm-hmm. So when you fill your tank, check out that app and try to make sure you don't go to a station that's on an on-ramp, right close to an that's close to an on-ramp or off-ramp of the freeway. Yeah. Well, that's, those are a lot more expensive. Yeah, seriously. Mm-hmm. There was one in Long Beach even that was 40 cents more than a different one. I was shocked because I know that L- – I think I know that notorious gas station. But side note, the app – also for me, sometimes I'm, I'm looking for gas stations and I'm trying to like MapQuest or Google it, Google Maps it, and it's like showing me a gas station 40 minutes away. And I'm like, mm-hmm. no, like I want one close to me. It takes away that kind of panic moment that exactly. you have. And it shows, literally, you can see every single gas station that's around you, even if you don't have time to worry about the price. It just helps you get to a gas station mm-hmm. without panicking. That's yeah. really good. Yeah, I like I that. I use it all the time. So what is the app called? Gas Buddy. Gas Buddy. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's a good one. So yeah. everyone should download gas buddy it's a free app mm-hmm. and it'll it's show you where and it's your buddy <laughs> and it'll show you where the gas stations are really close by so i think we should rename this episode i've decided to change the name of it it's fun things you can do with the money you save yes because that's what we're striving for we're striving to save money in areas that we spend money it's usually you know not consciously so much and we could save that money and do something fun mm-hmm. with it right yeah okay yeah well in terms of having fun while you're saving sometimes people i think think it's just like gosh i can't do anything then right and exactly. one thing i was i always love that my lovely brother-in-law paul told me about is a website called gofobo and you sign up s- sign your name up and then they just send you free links to movie pre-screenings and you could go to the movies for free that's right and then bring in your own candy and don't buy the candy there because that's how they get you right that's good but yeah. movies are twenty dollars now yeah I didn't know it was that eighteen dollars, sixteen. Yeah, yeah. Depending. I just have to say, I never see movies in the theater anymore because I went through this phase in life where I would always fall asleep in the movie theater, <laughs> and it was always so miserable because, like, sleeping and you're cold. And, yeah, and you're cold, and it's not like you're in a bed; you're in a chair, and and you paid for it, and I paid for it. And so now I just like I just it's one of those things that Pavlovian response. I'm like, Ugh, a movie. Like I don't want to go to a movie theater. I but love movies, but I, I don't go because they're so expensive. Mm. Other than when GoFobo sends me an invite yeah. for a pre screening. I don't go because I don't have time, but I yeah. do love movies. Yeah. E, do you so do the- anything to save money? What do you do? Save money. Oh, hi everyone. Uh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Over there, Mr. Silent. Uh, so, woo, save money. Yeah. What do you do? 
I, I have no I have no answer. <laughs> oh, so I spend, not, I, that's why I'm listening to you guys. So okay, because you spend more money than you I should. St- all, all, all the time. time. Okay. And I'm so, out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Okay. So that's it. Well. He said so he's we're so he's educating out, him. We're educating yeah, him. Yeah, we have a student in the we, studio. We have that's a student that's in why the I'm, studio. I'm, I'm in such yes, I'm in listen mode. <laughs> right. Because and, and I picked up so much by the way. Did you? Mm-hmm. Yes. What is one thing that you're going to take away from this conversation? I'm, not, I'm, I'm sneaking candy in the movie theater. Oh, my God. That <laughs> was exactly the one thing. Yes. what we were talking about. <laughs> I said. Okay, I like it. At least you got something from hey, it. Yeah. And remember, <laughs> okay. that money that you save, you have to put it somewhere. In, that in savings. Yeah. Right so on, okay. How much right money on, okay. do you think people spend <laughs> in the movie theater on candy? A lot. And, right? <laughs> A lot. Knows, I just apparently. know that when you go to Target... <laughs> Candy's like a dollar, like a big right. pack of like junior mints or something like that. And you go there, it's four fifty. Wow. It's like the cheapest thing. It's like you're like struggling just to like buy a pack of Twizzlers. Yeah. <laughs> and it's so it's about four fifty <laughs> for one piece of candy. And, and depending on how popular it is, like the right. junior mints are the least expensive and then it just goes up from there. And like a thing of soda is like six dollars. Popcorn is like six, I don't know. eight, ten. Yeah. Dollars. And just that's for one human being. Right. Can you imagine like being a mom and you just want to take your kids to the movie theater? Right. It it turns into like a huge investment. But and I like having something to munch on. For me, I feel like it's not it's the experience. That's why people go to movies or else they you know, you could go stay home and wait right. for it to go on DVD, but you go for the experience right. of the theater. That's and true. So why don't we go to the movies like on um those like Tuesday? I think it's six dollar Tuesday. Mm-hmm. It's oh. six dollar Tuesday where um in some theaters. So you could check that out too. Like some of the main theaters that you go to any other day of the week, the movie is twelve, fourteen, eighteen dollars. But on Tuesday or Wednesday, I think those are the two days that you can get in and see a movie for six dollars. So that if your budget was twenty, now you can buy the popcorn and yeah. something to drink. It's and, actually a really good idea, right? So go on the days when it's six dollar movie day. It's still the same movie, and mm-hmm. let's say a movie comes out on Friday, you can wait till Tuesday to see it. Yeah, nothing is going to happen to where here. you just well, all of a sudden not actually able brings to see up it. another idea, and I completely forgot about it. Instead of waiting for it to come out to DVD, wait for it to go to the dollar theaters, which That's are not that bad. Because yeah. I used to do that all the time, and mm-hmm. you can literally see a movie for two dollars in yeah. the really expensive movies. Oh my gosh, the three D ones they're five dollars. Okay, Let's see that's and, even, and that's not even at matinee hours. Wow, anytime. Yeah, there you go. So we're going to just change what times we go to the movies. Yeah. Because we're saving for our trip to To Thailand. 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 We're going to tag along. We're going to tag along and go with Nathan. Nathan, wait up. (laughs) Because I literally am going to be running from spa to spa. So you will have to keep up. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be chaos. Get ready. Well, I I really want to go on the tours. So I don't necessarily know that I'm going to be spending all my time at the spas. Okay. But the point is, we'll be able to go, <laughs> right? Yeah, that's the point. Because we'll be able to save the money to yeah. go. And and to have fun money is something that, you know what? A lot of us think we won't, won't ever have fun money. Mm-hmm. Especially when you're raising your children, mm-hmm. you know, or if you're a student, you know, or if you have your first apartment, right? Mm-hmm. And all the bills that are created from that. And one of the things I think that we do is we, the first thing we do is light, gas, cable, and it's it should be light gas and what else do i need for entertainment if you work eight to ten hours a day and it takes you an hour to get home most of the times when you come home in the evening all you really have time to do is fix something to eat get prepared for the next day right Mm -hmm. so how much time are you really spending watching television during the week Mm -hmm. maybe an hour or two right Mm -hmm. and then on the weekends most people are active Mm -hmm. so they're out you know, and about if on Saturdays taking care of chores, paying bills, doing whatever they do on Saturday. Mm-hmm. And then some people go to church on Sundays or do something, an activity with their family on Sunday. You know, if they have kids, they're in sports all day. So how much time are you really spending on television? 
Notice I'm harping on. I'm, I'm really on this cable Yeah, you thing. really are. But, but it's, it's true, really good because right? I, I canceled my cable years ago mm-hmm. and um, for a couple of reasons. But one of the main reasons was to save money. Right. Um, and I, I have to say that there are, were some shows that I was addicted to. And I did watch a lot of cable. <laughs> I loved the Real Housewives series. <laughs> <laughs> and I still like somehow like through kinda osmosis like kind of stay, stay in the loop of the Real Housewives drama just mm-hmm. because it's so entertaining. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it you is. can watch the older episodes. I can, right? And and there's other and honestly, like the just the mind the mindset shift that I made from mm-hmm. being like, okay, this isn't that important. It really isn't that I need to be spending. I was spending eighty dollars a month of the time on cable, and it is not that important <laughs> that to I watch need someone to else's drama. drama. That's and what instead, we're doing. what I what I could be doing instead is saving that money and sp- investing that time in my business, or investing that time in spending time with friends, or investing that time in planning my trip to right. wherever I'm going to go. That's right. That I'm saving that money for. 